press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. What COVID has shown is that the response of a government, whether at the center or the state level, is very different from in rural India and very different in urban India. In rural India, you have the panchayat system, you have the community health workers that um, uh, Kiridhai referred to. Uh, you have programs such as the midday meal scheme, which has been running. So there is a rural India, a delivery mechanism, uh, whether through counseling via the Anganwadi workers, the Asha workers, uh, the provision of ration through the PDS uh, or through pan panchayat. But in urban India is where I've seen whether it's in Assam, in Guwahati, or in the uh, towns and uh, smaller towns of Assam, or in the capital of Delhi as well, how do you reach out to the urban poor? What is what is the mechanism for distribution ration? What is the mechanism uh, for you know providing counselling to parents? So my first observation has been this big rural-urban divide uh, in terms of delivering governance. Uh, secondly, what I hear, no doubt, is the issue of nutrition and especially in a country like India where there's so many cases of malnutrition, severe acute uh, malnutrition, so many children under the age of five are uh, suffering from undernutrition and it has tremendous impact on their uh, physical and mental development as well. So, the, the rations that we are providing purely consist of rice and dal in most cases so we're completely missing out on essential minerals essential vitamins things that are found in green leafy vegetables so the entire system um, you know of providing nutrition has been uh, w w was a major problem in the initial period because you had the grocery shops shut down you had uh, breaking down in the supply chain of vegetables and lastly, I might say that they are especially vulnerable communities uh, of children. Even children itself is a vulnerable community, but even within children, they are further more vulnerable communities. And I'm hearing from a lot of the uh, people who work on the on the ground is, you know, children with mental health issues, children with physical disabilities. These are communities, these are families which need constant access to outdoor activities, need consistent access to medicine need consistent access uh, to uh, to clinics, to doctors and, and you can imagine the kind of environment uh, and how helpless a parent must feel especially you know a parent of a mentally uh, of a children with mental health challenges or, uh, or physical disability when those resources are being cut off. So these are you know certain issues that have really come up and what I do hope that you know that uh, uh, I mean it's easy to say in hindsight but these are the things that we must learn from this experience and ensure that we improve our delivery mechanisms, um, ensure that we have a very much more comprehensive way of thinking uh, when a nation goes through uh, you know, a future crisis like COVID because we, might, we will pass through COVID but there might be another health crisis, another virus which will, you know, in, in which people have to stay indoors and, and I hope when that time comes we are much more better prepared. So this is the time to really take stock, take lessons and invest in, in our health infrastructure uh, and think about uh, child welfare more comprehensively. From an urban background and working in a city like Pune, my experience has also been the same and in fact in the cities, since we have a lot of uh, affected people who have uh, tested positive, uh, we have a lot of containment areas. Pune is one of the hotspots uh, as far as uh, the pandemic is concerned. And there are four or five issues that I would like to flag. One is, as uh, Gaurav rightly said, that it is our duty to make sure that we keep our children healthy and well nourished. Uh, Gaurav has rightly said only the dal, meat, uh, and rice has come through the ration shops. Uh, yes, they have got it free of cost, but what is important is nutrition nutritional food and this is something that is totally lacking. Uh, schools are closed and therefore the midday meals that they used to get is also now not uh, available. So this is a major problem. 
as i said even earlier physical activity is also something very important for a healthy uh, future of a child and that is totally a miss the second point i think is uh, uh, reaching vulnerable children uh, with uh, uh, basic amenities like water sanitation and hygiene even in india as a whole 40% of the world's population also and more so in india we still lack the basic infrastructure of water and even soap to wash your hand so we are talking about washing your hand sanitizing your hand where does the water clean water come from and of course the other sanitation uh, facilities the third point is we are keeping away our children from learning they are not able to go to schools now there are some schools which have started online classes but this is unfortunately not available to all what happens to the children who go to the um, government schools they don't have uh, an ipad or any other even internet facilities for that matter to be able to study uh, at home uh, through the ict tools so this is a major divide that we see um, amongst children and uh, uh, this is something that everybody is talking about the fourth is uh, families from poor economic background need support services government will have to make some social protection measures so that the people from the poor families have money in their hand if they have no money in their hand it's not enough to have just rice dal and wheat they have to have money to be able to cater to the requirements uh, of their children and the family as a whole and i think the fifth is we see that a uh, lot of is of child abuse and child violence this is a major thing that we have to be concerned about even through my experience whenever we have meetings at the government level we only discuss about how many cases how many positives how many facilities for quarantine how many uh, covid care centers we are not talking about the needs of the children and this is something that we need to do because this is a hidden a hidden problem a hidden pandemic in so as to say just as the who has called the children, uh, women's problems as a shadow pandemic i would even say that the children's issues are also a hidden pandemic and therefore they need to be addressed they cannot be brushed under the carpet and we have to talk about them and try to find solutions usme chahe paisa wale parents hai ya garib parents hai usme aisa nahi hai ki paisa wala parents bahut acha parenting discharge kar sakte hai isi prakar se चाहे अर्बन एरिया हो या रूरल एरिया हो तो ऐसा नहीं है कि शहरों का लोग बहुत अच्छे पेरेंटिंग का डिस्चार्ज कर सकते हैं वो अपना दायित्व दे सकते हैं पेरेंटिंग मैं ऐसा समझता हूं कि बच्चों को कोई गैजेट्स देना कोई इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स गैजेट्स देना उनको कोई अलग अलग उनकी रिक्वायरमेंट जो भी वो बोले उसको वो फुलफिल करना उससे अच्छा पेरेंटिंग नहीं होता है पेरेंटिंग मीन्स उसका जो अपना बेसिक कल्चर है अपने जो बेसिक बुनियादी जो अपना कल्चर है अपना अप, अपना जो भारतीय का कल्चर है उस कल्चर के जरिए उनको जीने का है चाहे उनको सिर्फ रूम में रह के टीवी देखे वो जरूर नहीं है उनको ग्राउंड में खेलने के लिए भी जाना चाहिए मैं समझता हूँ कि पेरेंटिंग में ऐसा जो गरीब लोग है वो भी अच्छी तरह से करते हैं उनके लिए एक दिक्कत यह होती है कि उनको कमाने के लिए जाना पड़ता है वो दे आर नॉट एबल टू पे द अटेंशन वो ही एक दिक्कत रहती है मगर उनकी उनकी गैर मौजूदगी में उनके जो ग्रांड पेरेंट है वो वो दायित्व निभाते हैं तो मैं समझता हूँ कि एक बड़ी बात है दूसरे अगर मैं बात बोलू पेरेंटिंग की तो डिलीवरी होने के बाद डिलीवरी होने के बाद जो शुरुआत शुरुआत का जो लेक्टेशन आता है फर्स्ट लेक्टेशन आता है दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और मैंने देखा है कि चाहे रिच लोग हो पैसे वाले लोग हो या चाहे शहर के लोग हो उसको डिस्कार्ड कर देते हैं वो उसको जो फीडिंग नहीं करवाते हैं सबसे अगर कोई प्रोटेक्टिव फीडिंग है तो माता का पहला जो है लेक्टेशन वो होता है उसकी वजह से बच्चों का एक प्रकार का इम्यूनिटी उनको मिलता है तो एक आज सरकार भी उसको प्रमोट कर रही है मगर उसको हमें लोगों तक ले जाना चाहिए मैं दूसरी बात बोलू जो आजकल शहरों के लोग वो दे आर एवॉइडिंग द बेस्ट फीडिंग मैं समझता हूं कि वो गांव में ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग आज भी वो ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग चलता है ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग अगर उनको मिलेगा तो उनको सही रूप से बच्चों को न्यूट्रिशन मिलेगा और अगर उनको न्यूट्रिशन मिलता है 
उनको कल्चर मिलता है उनको बेसिक अपना जो भारतीय तक का जो कल्चर होता है पिताजी का कैसा जैसे सुबह में उठकर माँ बाप को आप आप उसको नमन करो सुबह में अच्छी तरह से आप एक दूसरे को सम्मान से बुलाओ अगर कोई अपने घर पे कोई मेहमान आता है तो आप उनको पानी का एक ग्लास दो मैं समझता हूँ कि ये एक बेसिक कल्चर है दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन पेरेंटिंग ऑल्सो और आपने जो बोला कि जो आज आज कोविड की वजह से ऑनलाइन जो होता है जो जो आज पढ़ाया जाता है बच्चों को मैं समझता हूँ कि वो बच्चों को छह साल के बाद ही बच्चों को पढ़ाना चाहिए जो शुरुआत में प्री स्कूल और जो केजी का हमारा है मैं समझता हूँ कि उनको बच्चों को पहले चार या पांच साल उनको खेलने का पूर्ता मौका मिलना चाहिए बाद में उसको होना चाहिए आज जो ऑनलाइन टीचिंग की वजह से बच्चे को कभी कभी दबाव भी रहता है बच्चों को तो मैं समझता हूं कि आज उन पर जो ऑनलाइन टीचिंग का बहुत बड़ा बोझना होना चाहिए उनको जितना उनको एब्सॉर्ब कर सके इतना ही देना चाहिए हमें उनके बारे में सोचता है बच्चों के बारे में सोचना है और बच्चों को अगर हम सही तरह से उसको डिस्चार्ज कर सकते हैं बच्चों पर एक भरोसा दिलवा सकते हैं आजकल बच्चों के पर जो जो लॉकडाउन में रहते हैं तो उन पर एक प्रकार का उन पर एट्रोसिटी या अत्याचार भी होता है वो पेरेंट्स के जरिए भी होता है मैं समझता हूं कि इस बात को हमें ध्यान में रखना चाहिए और जब हम घर में रहते हैं तब बच्चों से हम उनको हम पूरा मौका दें उनके क्रिएटिविटी को हम बाहर लाने का उनको पूरा मौका दें मुझे लगता है कि ये बात सबसे जरूरी है